Hello there, one and all, and welcome to episode 345 of Love at First Scent with me, Persilaise, live on YouTube as always. Thank you very much for tuning in, whether you're watching live or you're watching the recording. Feel free to leave a comment, ask a question. I tend to get round to them uh, usually within about a day of you leaving them, and I always enjoy reading them and receiving them. And for those of you who are watching the live, thank you very much for coming along from the previous video. And the first comment again goes to Dev, who says, hello, Mr. P. OK, so this is going to be a single perfume video. If we have time, we will do we, I'm sure we will be able to do at least one more today. This is all just for those of you watching live, perhaps two. So I think we should get straight into it. Uh, this is a not a new perfume, but it's a recently repackaged scent. This is from Joe Malone, their uh, Tuberose Angelica Cologne Intense which originally came out nearly 10 years ago in 2014, composed by Marie Salamagne. Um, but I believe that this is a newish packaging of it, which is why we are featuring it today, and also because I don't think I've ever smelt it before. Now, regular viewers will know. Oh, Linda says, thanks for keeping me company on my walk. You're very, very welcome. Do you want to, without sort of not asking in a stalkerish kind of way, but tell us what sort of surroundings you're walking in at the moment. Uh, Woozy says, did you have any favourites from their black bottles? In a word, no. Um, uh, the, the Joe Malone and 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 I, as as in Joe Malone, the brand and I, as you know, have uh, uh, had a sort of interesting relationship over the last few years because it it it's it's not a brand whose scents um, I wear. Uh, it's 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 not a brand whose scents I really sort of reach out for or have particularly in my collection. However, they are extremely successful, ridiculously successful. At one point, they were the most successful brand, perfume brand in the UK. I think that they will still be up there. Um, their, their boutiques are always full of customers. Um, people love the uh, the whole aesthetic. They, they love the branding. They love the, the bows and the ribbons. They love the layering side of it. So it um, clearly works for somebody. Um, and there are some that I have liked more than others, but there have never really been any that that I have got like in my um, personal arsenal of scents. And I, I've, you know, I've gone on record as having said this before, that they strike me a little bit as perfumes for people who don't actually particularly love perfume or want to be interested by perfume or want to explore a perfume, but just want to leave the house smelling vaguely, generically nice. And, you know, that's okay. People don't have to be geeky about perfume in the same way that they don't have to be geeky about literature and music and and, and films. Um, lots of you commenting on this. Anonymous says, on the topic of Angelica and tuberose, you need to smell Tuberose Organique by Christophe Lodamiel, which reconstructs tuberose from a tequila note and has a green facet with Angelica. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, well, I'm, that sounds interesting. Smarks says, Sally Hughes turned me on to mimosa and cardamom. Now, thank you for mentioning mimosa and cardamom, because that is probably one of the most beloved of the more recent, recent-ish um, Joe Malone scents. And interestingly, that was made by Mary Salamani as well. I remember when M mimosa cardamom came out, lots of people considered it were one of their favourite scents of that year. It wasn't one of my favourites, but I could see the appeal of it. Woozy says, I remember the ones Christine Nagel did for the black bottles smell very similar to her current Hermesence. Really? <laughs> Interesting. Sharon again says, there you go. I do enjoy their mimosa and cardamom. That that one keeps coming up. That that has become um, a, a, a bit of a hit for them. Uh, and who's this? Aileen on Beauty says, I don't get the fuss around Joe Malone. Longevity is pretty bad, at least on me. Yeah, they're, they're not the most long lasting sense. But then again, a lot of them are you know, just colognes. This is a cologne intense. Okay, so let's see. Tuberose Angelica from Joe Malone. I should say Joe Malone, London. I noticed that this bottle has got... Am I just seeing things or is it a slightly different logo? No, it's the same logo, isn't it? It is the same logo. Okay, let us just, let us just spray. Um... Okay. Actually, you know, at first sniff, that tuberose comes out as absolutely fine. It it doesn't actually come across as because I was I was I was dreading it a little bit because tuberose, when done badly, can just be so stomach churningly thin and unconvincing and awful. Um, but no, this this is this is coming across as recognizably convincingly tuberose, 
And actually, I'm kind of a little bit surprised at how indolically and realistically tuberose-ish it is. Um, it's 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 on the quiet side, and you can see that this is going to be a you know it, for goodness sake you know it's not poison it's not dose on from Dutique. Um, oh, Mateusz says I do really enjoy bitter bitter mandarin by Michel Almarag. That was another one that did really well. See, the, there are a few there are a few that seem to strike a chord with people, and those are the ones that stick around. And of course, a lot of them get discontinued very very quickly. Um, See, the thing, the thing with these Joe Malone scents, with so many of them, is that I smell them, and some are more pleasant than others, but I'm really hardly ever, in fact, maybe even never, moved to say a thing about them. They, they give me very, very little to explore. They give me very little to think about. And th this one actually... See, I was going to say this one makes me think like, I'm just smelling a tuberose material, but that's not accurate because if I were smelling, you know, some 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 kind of tuberose absolute, some sort of tuberose essence or something like that, I would have tons to say because it would be so faceted, it would be so interesting. You would really, really want to delve into it. Um, and yet, this is this is so 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 studiedly, determinedly monodimensional. This block of something that is tuberose-ish enough to justify the name, but doesn't want to go too much into the greeny facets, doesn't want to go too much into the coconutty facets, absolutely doesn't want to bear its claws, doesn't want to flash its teeth. Um, and I suppose there is that kind of herbal, woody feel that you would hope for, given that it's also called Angelica. But if it weren't called Angelica, I don't think I would be sitting here, you know, hand on heart, I don't think I would be sitting here saying to you, oh yes, this is an interesting juxtaposition between tuberose and Angelica. Um, so not to sort of damn it with faint praise, it, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. I should label this blotter actually. Um, but you can already feel that it's not going to be terribly long lasting. Do you prefer French flower over this, says Woozy? Which one was French? Oh, is French flower the um the Aurelien Guichard brand? Uh I can't remember. I can't remember. But I wasn't overly taken with too many things from that brand, was I? Um Yes, it's the, the, the it is it is just. It's a, it's a sort of perfume void, you know, there's something, there is of clearly something there because I'm smelling the tuberose, but it's it's like a, a really, really expensive shower gel or an expensive body lotion that just gives you the one thing and doesn't want to challenge you or make you think or speak to you in any particular, it's, it's, it's wallpaper, it's perfume wallpaper, it's perfume lift music, and some lifts have better music than others, and this is probably that sort of music that is better than others, but it is still lift music. Could have been worse, could have been worse, I think. Um, Spaced Out says, I would pay premium for more bashing from Persilase. <laughs> Whatever that means. So yes, I, I kind of, I, I'm loath to sort of say, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. But do, you know, if you found the video helpful and you found it useful, it's very, very useful to me if you give it a thumbs up. But, you know, I'm kind of not particularly endorsing this scent. Let's just have one more sniff. I mean, it's 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 just fine. It's just fine. But, you know, if you wanted to do a tuberose, this would be so low down the list of tuberose scents that, that anyone... Um, would recommend to you. Another shoulder shrug perfume says, yes, it, it kind of is like that. A pleasant shoulder shrug. Okay, I think we need to just go, we're done with this one. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. And I will close this stream down and come back with another one in a few minutes. Take care, folks. See you in a bit. Bye now.